Hey what's up guys welcome to cubic soul youtube channel and in today's video i will teach you how you can insert a product in your woocommerce store using rest api so this is a small series of videos in the first video we will learn how we can create a product and in the remaining videos we will learn the other topic related to woocommerce rest api like update a product delete a product and other things so make sure to watch the video till the end without any delay let's start so friends first of all i will open the c zamp and inside this i have a folder name hdocs and here i will create a new folder like cubic soul api hit the enter button and in this folder i will create a new file named index.php press yes and next i will open my visual code studio and I need to open that project folder in my this code editor. So click on file, open folder. And from here, I will select the cubic soul API, the folder that I have created and click on select folder. Click on this. And next, first of all, we need to implement, integrate here the WooCommerce REST API SDK. To do this, open your browser and type here WooCommerce REST API SDK. And here you can see the link with github.io website so make sure to click on this link we need to back here and you need to click on this link github.com from here scroll up and this is a composer command i will copy this open your project folder click on this and type here cmd paste that command here make sure you have installed a composer on your computer if you will not have a composer program this command will not going to work and now press press enter button it will take few seconds and integrate the woocommerce sdk in your project folder so here you can see that it have add this these files the next thing is open your browser and this is the admin panel of our website click on woocommerce and click on settings here you have to click on this advanced and select this rest api option here from here we need to generate api keys to generate them click on this add key button type a description that for for which purpose you can create going to create this api so i will type here for upload products or you can type here for manage products and from here you have to give permissions i will select read and write if you will select this then user will able to upload a product retrieve a product edit or delete a product from your website and next i need to type here generate api key button and from here you have to copy these two keys consumer key and consumer secret make sure to copy these two keys and paste them on a notepad so i have a file on my desktop api key i will paste the consumer key and copy this consumer secret and paste here so then the next step is from this website scroll up and you need to copy this code which is a php code and in my index.php open the php starting tag paste that code here and here i will create two variables the first variable is consumer key semicolon and the second variable is consumer secret so in these two variables we need to store the keys that we were copied from our woocommerce paste the consumer key here and copy this consumer secret and paste here so from here we need to remove this line and type here our consumer key variable and again you need to remove this second option and type here consumer secret here you need to paste the url of your website suppose you have a website named www.abc.com you simply need to copy and paste the url of your website here in my case my website is located on localhost so i will type here localhost cubic soul so this is the url of my website i will copy this and paste this url here that's it and now we are going to upload our product to upload the product open the google and type here woocommerce rest api documentation and click on this link with github website from here you can easily download the code 
select this products option and click on create a product from here you need to select this php option it will provide you the php code to upload the product so first of all i will copy this complete data object paste here and in the in this object we can pass the information of our product so this is the dummy information that they have already added so you can change this information here but before this i will copy this last line and paste here whichever response will come i'm going to print that response here or we can type here echo pre-tag and after this we need to close our pre-tag so we can response so we can see the response from our server in a pretty way so here you can change the information here at this position you can paste the url of your images here this is the dummy url that they provided so suppose you want to upload a product from internet open the google and type here like pizza bay and from this website i will type here car so these are the car images suppose if i want to add this product just click on this car image right click on it and click on copy image address open your visual code studio and paste that link here and from here we can change the title of our product like 2002 honda civic so this is a dummy model here and from here you can change its price like 1299 dollars that's it you can change the other information and you can also pass another parameters like sku by visiting their website so next we need to execute this index.php file to execute this i will open a new tab and type here localhost and our project folder name which is cubic soul api so type here cubic soul api hit the enter button so friends here you can see that the product is inserted successfully to our woocommerce store using rest api this is the id of our product and this is the response that server has provided us so let's just open our store and see whether product inserted or not click on this visit site button i will click on this shop button here and friends here you can see that our product is inserted successfully so i hope you must enjoy this video if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section and make sure to watch all the videos of this series to learn about woocommerce test api hit the like button if, if video was helpful and subscribe to our youtube channel for learning web development and finally thanks for watching